Welcome to Accounting on Excel with Amaka Febunando. We'll be looking at how to design a checkbox in Excel. I know you've seen this um, in a lot of places, uh, checkbox where you tick and it just gets stops like this. And you'll be wondering, how is this? How do you come about this? The good news is that you can do this in Excel. So let's go right into it. So what I will do is that I will delete this and we'll design ours, right? You see how I go about it. Good. Good. So let's go ahead. Now, for you to design this, I already have a, a sample data that I want to use to do this. I have the to-do checklist. I have the tabs. I have the status. So to do that, ensure your developer tab is active. And how do you activate it if it's not? All you need to do anywhere on the ribbon, just right click customize ribbon, right? Ensure your customized ribbon tab is selected. The main tabs, then come, mine the developer tab, ensure this checkbox is checked. Mine is already checked. So when it's checked, you click OK, and you will see your developer tab is active. So for us to do, to design our checkbox, I'll click on the developer tab, right? Click on the insert here. Now you will see the check box from control. I'll select this. And I'll come here and drag this with the arrow box. Good. All right. I'll just adjust it up. All right. Wow. So that's it. You see, I have my checkbox here. So what I want to do is to delete this text. I will delete it. I don't need it. So I'll right click and edit text. So I will delete the text. Good. When the text is deleted, Good. Can you see that? All right. So what I would like to do now is to assign this checkbox to this particular cell. This cell is E8. So when I select the checkbox, you see the checkbox is 99. So I want to assign the checkbox. So I right click and you click on, let me just do it again. You right click and click on format control. Good. So it says cell link. So I'm linking the cell that the checkbox to this cell E8. Good. And I click OK. All right. So I will now copy and paste to order. Copy, Control C, then I will now Control V and paste. Wow. That's it. But one thing you would see is that when I select this, all will be selected. And I don't want all to be selected. I don't want all to be selected. So what I will do is because this cell has already been linked, E8 has already been linked to the checkbox, and I copied and paste, meaning that all these cells are already linked to E8. So all I'll do is to edit the link and ensure that each of the checkbox in each cell is linked to itself, right? So I will right-click, Format, Control. You see, it's E8. So I will now link it to E9, which is the cell. The same thing you do for each of the cells. Format control. This should be E10. Good. Right click. Format control. This should be E11. You just select the cell, the cell that you want to assign to the checkbox, and it's done. The same thing. Link it to this, and that's it. You right click. Format control, you link it to this and OK it. Then this, this should be the last one. Yeah, so just right click again when you see that format control. Then OK, good. So they are all independent. So you see each of them is independent. Wow. So for yours, you might be seeing true, false, true, false. All you need to do is just, what I did is that I formatted. So I didn't delete, you see the false. So all you need to do is just come here, home tab, and your text color, use the white, you see it's white. So normally you may be seeing it, um, the automatic, that's the black color. So I'll just use, I don't want to see the true, false. So I'll just use this color. And that's why mine is this way, right? So if I've done this task, I just click on it. If I've done this, I click on it. So that's how you go about designing a checkbox for any of your activity that requires you to have a checklist on it. 
right i believe this has added value to you please ensure you walk along it might you may find it difficult the first time but just try to do it two three times and there you are you've added a skill to your excel skill right so don't forget to subscribe to the youtube to my youtube channel you see a subscribe button on my youtube channel that you're watching right now just click on the subscribe button to get more of this value video and don't forget to share send your feedback it will really mean a lot to me thanks and hope to see you in the next lesson bye for now